Hello everyone, welcome to another video of this playlist where we are making a 2D mini zombie game from scratch using GDevelop. Previously, we have made a basic setup for the game like I added characters, made character movement, health variables, attack and death for the characters. And as you can probably see, the updates are here and I think the UI of this engine is now quite better and clean than the earlier version. Like I can clearly identify what's comment and what's adding an event. Anyway, let's now see what we are doing in this video. So first we will fix some of the issues because in the previous one, some of the animations were not working properly. So we'll just fix them up. Second, we will add a camera movement for the character. So wherever she's going, a camera will be following her. And third, we'll make zombies to follow the character as she enters in their range. And thank you so much all of you for suggesting the names and I'll definitely use them in the game. And if you have any suggestions or feedbacks, comment them down. It will be really helpful for me. And now let's get started with the video. So now let's see what changes we have to do to make the animations and actions work properly. So first of all, I added these boolean variables to the characters and named it death. So we can put actions for when they are alive and remove it when they are dead. And here I've added a movement of the character under the condition where the death of Chloe is false, which means that she can only move or do anything when she is alive and when she is dead, which means health is less than or equals to zero, then we'll simply remove the platform behavior from Chloe or the zombies also and I've did same for the zombies also so when they are alive means death of Anna is false which means she is alive then only she is going to attack or do anything and when the death is equal to true which means she is dead then she'll simply play the death animation and will take platformer behavior from the zombie so that is it this was the change and you can just copy it and after this we will see how to make camera movement for the character. Okay, so now let's add camera movement for Chloe. For that add an action and search camera on object and select this one and select Chloe. And now the camera will be centered on Chloe. But the camera still goes outside of this platform. So let's add uh, some boundaries so we can stop camera from going outside of this margin. And for that add an action called enforce camera boundaries. And here you have to input the coordinates that will be the boundaries for the camera let me explain like as we don't want our camera to go outside of this region so just put your mouse on the top and with this you will get the left bound of x and the top bound of y and now if you place your mouse here you get a right bound of x and bottom bound of y so let's input these values here and now you have boundaries for the game. So now as you can see the camera will stop as it reaches that point. And also let's add a camera zoom. And add values depending if you want to zoom in or zoom out. So 1 is the default value which means the regular aspect ratio. If you want to zoom in you will add a value which will be more than 1 and if you want to zoom out you will add a value less than 1 but greater than 0. So I'll add 1.2 or let's say 1.3. So now as you can see we are zoomed in and, and now this looks cool. So that's it for the camera control and now let's make zombies to follow Chloe when she comes in their range. So for that add an empty event in characters movement and copy and paste this condition when the zombie is not dead. And now add the sub event and in the condition add 
when distance between two objects and select Chloe for the first object and Croc for the second object. So this is the range for the zombie. So when Chloe is under 400 pixels in distance between Croc and then only will make the zombie move towards Chloe. Hit OK. And in the action at this condition where Croc will move towards the object and select the object Chloe and speed let's say 250. That's it. <coughs> And now if we hit play and when Chloe is under the 400 pixels, <clears throat> he will move towards Chloe. So as you can see, he is following her now and he will attack also. But there are some things missing like running animation and attack while running or so many things. So let's add them up quickly. So in condition add when Chloe is not in collision with Croc. And in the action, we'll make one boolean scene variable and set it to false. And this will denote the movement for the zombie. And also copy and paste this action. And now add another event below it and copy and paste these two conditions and make it non inverted. That's it. And in the action, copy and paste this variable and uh, I think this should be true and this should be false yeah so this will be false and also we'll make a movement variable here add it under this condition and, and add the condition of movement variable and set it to false and also add a condition below for when this movement variable is true and here set the animation of croc equals to 1 which is his running animation and now let's see if it works so as you can see the running animations are playing but he's not flipping so let's make the flip for this croc for that add a sub event here and in the condition add if x position of croc oh sorry for the x position of chloe if it is greater then x position of croc for that simply write croc capital x and close the brackets that's it. and in the action we will flip the zombie horizontally and now copy and paste this condition <clears throat> and just change it from greater than to less than and change it to no and now let's see if it works Oh, it is opposite. Now you have to just switch between these. Just give it no and make it yes. And now let's see if it works. So as you can see, the zombie started to following the character and he is hitting and also he is attacking. So I'll just quickly do this for Anna also. And also let's add a screen shake when the player gets hit for that add an extension from here for shake the camera this one add it to the project and go to the events and in the condition where Chloe is been hit here add an action for shake camera and we'll set up the duration of 0 0.5 seconds durations to start is 0 and end to 1 we will copy and paste for both the zombies so as you can see both the zombies are following the character and they are attacking too and you get a screen shake after you get hit So this is pretty much it for this video, make sure to subscribe and save this playlist for more videos and if you like this tutorial please like the video and thanks for watching.